Welcome to r slash pro revenge. This is a story of someone getting back at someone with pro revenge after being wronged. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and for so many likes. The first story is new boss mobs and then fires admin. Major systems go downhill and boss is in hot water. This happened about a year ago. I have a new job now. Still, I made a throwaway account to protect people involved. Mostly, I made it to protect me. If my former boss burns in heck due to this, well, I'm okay with that, and at least he'll be able to afford the heating bill. So, I worked for this multinational company for over a decade as a system administrator. My responsibility was in the area of manufacturing, mostly for central systems that work on data flow between the manufacturing systems and the ERP system in near real time. Even though the company had lots of cash for stupid projects, IT budget was always too tight for those expensive customized data munching systems. So shortly after starting to work at the company, I started implementing my own. I'm also an experienced software developer, one of the reasons my original boss hired me. I won't go into too much detail, but I decided to make this stuff web-based for easier deployment of updates. It worked great, and over time more and more functions got ported into this easy to enhance slash easy to update system. Partly new stuff, partly decades old software that was in dire need of replacement. After about a decade, this system was rather central to the manufacturing process in many ways. And yes, there were hot standby servers, multiple backups each day, and so on. Due to the severe budget constraints, I'm allowed to use open source software for my database. I'm also allowed to use my own open source web system as the base for it all, and keep it open source. Except for some small, selected parts that are company specific. I'm pleased about that because essentially the company is paying me to progress my open source project while getting a friendly reliable system for me to use at work. I always had the support of my varying bosses over the years. We changed middle management a lot. In comes another new boss. In the first ever talk we have, he complains that the software is written in programming language because that's so outdated. I tell him it's actively developed and used by a number of Fortune 500 companies for their back-end and or front-end systems. He's not happy. He also asks me how I do all the paperwork for the project and how my former bosses manage the project. I tell him I do everything by mail, so everything is archived on the archive mail server, as per law. And my former bosses didn't do any management because the users and department leaders are happy about how I manage the project myself. He is livid. A few weeks later, my boss accuses me the work is a separate company within our company and it has to stop. And it doesn't matter if the whole company approves of my work and speaks highly of me. I have to do much more completely useless paperwork, get approval for every small change or bug fix from the two people, and is generally a D when it comes to my work. He also loudly complains that I work alone on my projects and that I try to ruin the company by doing so. I have it on file that I asked whoever was my boss at the time for 10 years every month to have someone as backup and got denied every time. You have to understand, I have Asperger's and I'm generally not good with dealing with this stuff. But so far, I always managed. This day is the first ever I left early, crying my eyes out in nearly 25 years of work. More bullying follows, and over the next year my boss starts taking away all my duties one at a time. This results in me not always making my 40 plus work hours per week. You can only read Reddit so much per day before you start going insane. Now, after everything is over, I realize that was his main tactic after all. Get me fired for now working as long as my coworkers. But it just didn't click with me at the time, because nothing like that had ever happened to me. Boss forces me to train up backup near the end of February. I only get one day to train him. He's very young and inexperienced, and I complain to my boss that there's over a decade of software development, knowledge about company rules and processes. He also doesn't know the programming language. The next day, after having to attend to an expensive one hour's training course and then having lunch, HR calls me in and tells me it's my last day of work. I don't have the usual 90 day period, but it's my last day of being employed. This is rather unusual in my country and only legal if both parties agree. I agree though, since I get a nice severance package and unemployment benefits starting the next day. I don't mention to HR that I was planning to quit the next month anyway because of the constant bullying. I have one hour to clean out my desk and say goodbye to my coworkers. The last thing I do is to have one my backup delete my accounts, as per company policy, while I watch. This includes my admin account in my web system, then I leave. I go home, cut all company access to my privately owned public source code management temporarily, then I work through the weekend to basically fork my own project under a new name, renaming all the classes and stuff, and release it back on my SCM under the new name. Just so that company will have a hard time implementing all the bug fixes and security updates I do in the future. 
What I accidentally on purpose forget to mention in the heat of the moment is that all the system documentation for the web system is also stored on the system and is linked to the user account of whoever wrote it. Me for everything in this case. On delete, restrict is active, so deleting a user account with active documentation is now allowed. But there is also a known safety in the software that prevents deleting admin accounts through the interface, so my coworker happily types the required command into the database shell directly. You know, delete from users where username equals the underscore Asperger underscore admin cascade, and it works. Normal procedure would have the person doing the work assign a different user to that stuff first. But what the heck, I was fired, and it was the responsibility of the person doing the work, not mine. This was well documented in the documentation he has just deleted, as well as in an email I sent out a couple of months earlier. A week goes past, and then the messages start flooding in. We used a well-known messaging app for real-time communication and also started using it for private messaging as well, since my group are still good friends. Part of the system aren't doing their jobs and part of the manufacturing process is ground to a halt in multiple production plants. The documentation is nowhere to be found and they can't figure out what's wrong. From what I gather, after I left, they realized that I had a second account on the system, marked developer account, don't change without talking to the underscore Asperger underscore admin first. Backup deleted it since I wasn't working at the company anymore. This also deleted a number of rather critical maintenance tasks, running under that developer slash system account, and the system went belly up. Chaos ensued. Emergency meetings were held. The company always held meetings instead of working to fix the problem whenever something went wrong. That is when they started contacting me. Backup. You need to come in and fix the problem right away. Company Central is already on the phone, and they are going ape sh. Adds lots of details on the problem, and also on what's happening in the company. Me. Sorry bro, I don't work for the company anymore. Backup. But it's your system. Me. Was my system. Past tense. I got fired last week, remember? I do not work there anymore. Backup. But we're in trouble. Me. First, since I don't work there anymore, you just violated company policy by telling me all that stuff. Could get you fired for that. But I'm not going to. You're the somewhat innocent bystander in this. Me. Secondly, on the day I was fired, HR told me that they wanted to get me out the door right away because a disgruntled worker with my kind of system knowledge is a security nightmare. Backup. But you aren't disgruntled, are you? Me, playing it safe. No, but there's no way for you or management to be sure. Are you willing to take full responsibility if you let me in and I hack your systems? Backup. Uh, no. Boss isn't paying me that well, you see. Me. And third, if I help you in any way, shape, or form, I might be in deep trouble. Backup. What? Me. See, the company can't do a lawsuit against their own employees if something goes wrong by accident. Suppliers have similar statements in their contracts and are also insured. I'm neither one of those, and if I did do something wrong, or the company just states I did even if I didn't, I'm suddenly in deep financial trouble. I just can't take the risk. Backup. What if we hire you as an external supplier and contractor? Me. I'd have to open a company, get insurance, go through negotiation with your purchasing department to get my company in your suppliers list, then I'd have to write you an offer which you then have to get signed by names of four people, which would take all in all two to four months, after which I'll have to wait for the money for another three to four months. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I decline. Backup. Please help me. Me and my boss, same person as my now former boss, are in very hot water. What can we do? Me. Sorry, I can't help the company because it'd be a risk to me and it would be against your own company policy to allow me to help. Backup. Pretty please? Me. Tell you what, call up Company Central yourself. Don't go through the boss and tell them exactly what had happened. Tell them you broke the system by deleting those user accounts on your boss's orders. And tell them you didn't know what would happen because you didn't have enough training and experience. You just relied on your boss's orders. Turns out, Backup actually did phone up Company Central a few days later. Boss went through heck got fired and got himself on the never hire again anywhere in this company blacklist for another expensive stunt he pulled, which the company realized shortly after he was kicked out. How do I know? I still have lots of friends at that company and hear stuff through the grapevine. Backup still has his job and a new, even more incompetent boss. So Backup is ready to find a new job. Yesterday, he asked me about planning his company exit, which reminded me that I wanted to write this post. And here we are. The second story is... Make my life heck at multiple jobs? I'll get you fired. On mobile. Backstory. In the early 2000s, I worked for overpriced CD store. I really liked my job aside from one coworker, Karen. We just didn't get along. I made the best of it, but she was a borderline bully. Of course, she gets promoted to key holder and proceeds to turn into a full-blown power trip bully. She made my life heck, and a job that I previously loved, I couldn't stand anymore. 
I made a formal complaint that made its way to HR, but I was done working there, which was her goal. Of course, when HR investigated my claims, they found she and the assistant manager were dating. Oops. And she was moved to another store, since fraternizing was against policy. Apparently, she didn't like that store and quit. A few months later, I was happily working at Defunct Bookstore, and who gets a job at the Defunct Bookstore at another mall? Karen. Over the next few months, she proceeds to do little things to annoy me, like hanging up when I would call their store for a customer, or leave me on hold forever. Of course, I would get in trouble for not effectively handling the customer with their needs. The Revenge About six months into the job, I heard through the grapevine of store gossip that Karen had been injured in a car accident. Apparently, she had hurt her back and went on medical leave. She couldn't stand for more than 10 minutes at a time without excruciating pain. This is important. She was on indefinite leave, and her store could not hire anyone to replace her while on medical leave leaving them short-handed, and I knew her manager was really annoyed after a few months. Two months later, a few friends of mine and I decided to go play pool. A former co-worker Rick from the overpriced CD store was there. Rick, man, too bad you weren't here last night. It would have been a reunion. Karen and assistant manager were here playing pool. Me, Karen was playing pool? Rick, oh yeah, they come in every Wednesday night. Me, really? That's interesting. Every Wednesday, huh? How long has this been going on? Rick, a few months. Yes, for the entire time she was on medical leave, Karen was out playing pool once a week, not at home in debilitating pain like she claimed. The next day, I went to her defunct bookstore and asked to speak to the manager. I told him all about her weekly pool sessions and encouraged him to be at the pool hall the next Wednesday night to catch her in action. That Thursday, she was fired. The last time I saw her, she and her friend were attempting to follow me home from work. I called the police and led them into the police station, where they told her to leave me alone or be arrested. She stayed away from me after that. The last story is, business owner tries to bully neighbor, ends up losing his livelihood. My friend inherited his parents' house a few years back and has been slowly renovating it. The house is nothing special and not in the best area, but it's his. No banks, no mortgages. It also happens to be next door to a restaurant. The restaurant had been a neighborhood fixture for decades, but it slowly declined with the neighborhood. Cue the old owners walking away and selling it to a real sleazeball. New owner wants to buy my friend's house to demo it so he can expand the restaurant's parking lot. Instead of offering a fair price, Sleazeball tries to lowball my friend, assuming he doesn't know the property's potential value. Sleazeball gets offended when my friend counters with fair market value and begins to bully him with passive-aggressive SH. Delivery trucks blocking his sidewalk, new super bright security lights that shine into the house, etc. On top of that, Sleazeball is openly racist and refers to my friend as all sorts of epithets. Sleazeball even tries to turn the neighbors against my friend by telling them that he's a drunk, has anger issues, etc. All the while, Sleazeball is doing major renovations and expansions to his restaurant. The Revenge My friend does contracting work for the city and is on a first-name basis with the local boards. Turns out Sleazeball didn't file for the proper permits. After an anonymous report to the inspectors, he's ordered to demolish the new expansion. You'd think that'd be it, but oh no. The restaurant hasn't been properly inspected for years and the city orders further inspections. Another anonymous report stated that the restaurant was unsanitary. No surprise, it fails the health and safety inspection and is condemned as structurally deficient. Between the fines, repair costs, and loss of business, the owner files for bankruptcy and the old restaurant is demolished. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications.